Good morning, St. Beards. We're coming up to Christmas, and despite all the difficulties of the past year, I just love Christmas still. The lights even, and the trees, and the presents, and all the razzmatazz, and celebrating with family and friends. And I always think, isn't it fantastic that the world celebrates our feast? God coming into our world, our history, through the birth of Jesus. Mind you, and I hope I didn't disappoint you, it's very unlikely that Jesus was born on the 25th of December. Far more likely he was born in the springtime when the shepherds would have been out in the fields looking after the sheep. The 25th of December was only celebrated as the birth of Jesus around the 4th century when in Rome there was a great feast of the winter solstice celebrating light coming into the darkness of winter and the Christian church thought let's take this on board and celebrate the light that has come into our lives and into our world with the birth of Jesus. And what a good example to follow light coming into winter because we see Jesus as the light that comes into our lives no matter how much darkness and sadness we may experience. I hope that you will all be able to see the outdoor crib at St Anne's Church across the road which we just put up. It's a great reminder to everyone of what the true meaning of Christmas is. And perhaps on Christmas Day your prayer can be similar to mine. A very simple prayer. Thank you Lord God for the gift of your son Jesus who has shown us how to lead fulfilling and happy lives. Thank you God for the light that is always there in the dark moments of our lives. Thank you Lord for our families and friends who love us and help us Lord to do what we can to support and love people who are alone or homeless or see little light in their lives. I've been to the Holy Land several times, sometimes middle of July. And when you go to what they call the shepherd's fields where supposedly angels came to the shepherds to announce the birth of Jesus, even in the middle of July you arrive and some of the Franciscans who are there will say to you, Happy Christmas, because it's always Christmas. So, I wish you all a very happy Christmas, and may God bless you all.